Welcome back everyone. In this next example, we got to find the value or values of x where the tangent on this function f of x equals x plus 5 over 3 plus x is horizontal. So to find where the tangent is going to be horizontal, we basically have to find out when is that slope of the tangent going to be zero, a horizontal line has a slope of zero, or when the derivative is equal to zero. So we got to take the derivative of this function over here. Now we can take the derivative from here, but what I actually recommend doing is taking these two terms here and combining them into one fraction. So you could get the derivative from here and then over here you could maybe apply the quotient rule on this term. The derivative of x is just going to be one. But personally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them into one fraction. So this x is over 1. So to add these two fractions, you need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 3 plus x. I'm going to multiply the top by 3 plus x. And so this function can be rewritten as x times 3 plus x plus 5 all over 3 plus x, like that. And then if we distribute this x inside the bracket, we would end up with x squared plus 3x plus 5 over 3 plus x. You know what? I'm just going to write x plus 3 like that. Right? So this and this, the original function that we were given, are the exact same thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to derive this here. I'm going to use the quotient rule on this. So to do that, what we would do is take the derivative of the top, which would be 2x plus 3, multiplied by x plus 3, multiplied by the bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, times the top, all over x plus 3 to the power of 2. So I just apply the quotient rule on this. And now what we can do is simplify everything. So we're going to FOIL this out. So continuing this up here, we would end up with 2x squared plus 6x plus 3x plus 9 minus, distribute the negative inside the bracket, so minus x squared minus 3x minus 5, all over x plus 3 to the power of 2. Then from here, let's simplify. So 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. 6x minus 3x is 3x. Or sorry, 6x plus 3x is 9x minus 3x would be 6x there. Right, because these two are like terms, or the 3x's cancel out, so we're just left with a 6x. And then 9 minus 5 would give us positive 4. That's going to be all over x plus 3 to the power of 2. Right, so this here ends up being the derivative of that function. And then notice x squared plus 6x plus 4, that doesn't factor smoothly. And so now what we got to figure out is when is this derivative going to equal 0? And more specifically, this derivative is going to equal 0 when that numerator is going to equal 0. Because 0 divided by a number is going to give us 0. So basically what we got to find is when does x squared plus 6x plus 4 equal 0? And the x values that make this quadratic equal to 0 is going to be the same x values that make the tangent or the location of where the tangent is horizontal. So again, we can't factor this smoothly, so what we're going to have to do is use the quadratic formula. So we're going to have x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so in this case, the a value is 1, the b value is 6, the c value is 4. So plugging all of that in here, we would have negative 6 plus or minus uh, 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 all over 2 times 1, like that. And so this would be negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 16 gives us 20, and that's going to be all over 2. And then this here we could simplify further because square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which is 2 root 5. 
right? Square root of 20, two root of five, those are the same thing. And so if I continue this here, like that, and then what I can do is I can actually split these two terms up. So I would have x equals negative six over two plus or minus two root five over two. And then notice negative six over two is negative three. And then plus or minus, notice that the twos would cancel out. And so we would have root five there. And so that is the answer. There are two x values where the tangent is going to be horizontal at an x value of negative three plus root five and then also at an x value negative three minus root five as an exact value.